What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video we are back with another review in Halo Infinite. In this video we are taking a look at the Regal Strike bundle. Make sure to wait for my other videos for the Foggy Rust and the Provespa bundle. But today we're reviewing the best bundle that we have in this week's shop, the Regal Strike. And this is absolutely amazing. So as you guys can see it comes with shoulder pads. They are really really cool. It has like the UNSC logo on it and I love it. I think these are the best shoulder pads that we have in the game. Better than the Zvezda. For the longest time, I really liked the Zvezda uh, shoulder pads, but these ones just kind of knock it out the park because I love the design of them. So here we have uh, left and right. It's called the High Comm Sentinel. Looks really, really cool. Then we have legendary gloves called the Crystal. Uh, an epic stance called the Step-In Razor. Looks really, really nice. We have a armor coating called the Violet Gunpowder, which looks good. I like it. I like the purple on it. Looks really, really nice. Uh, an epic visor called the Heroic Intervention. I'm not a huge fan of this one because we have visors that are golden already. So I'm not too crazy about this one. It's kind of just plain to me. I won't lie. Uh, then we have an armor emblem right here and nameplates and vehicle and uh, so on and so forth. So anyways, guys, let's take a closer look at what we got. All right, so here is the violet gunpowder coating. As you can see it right here. It looks really, really cool with these shoulder pads. But I want to go through all of the armor coating so I can show you guys what it looks like with these shoulder pads. Uh, so let's start off. Uh, so we have Cadet Blue. Wow, look at that. Look at the gold. And oh my god, that looks really nice. Cadet Brick. I'm pretty sure most of the times it will be gold. Um, but still, it looks really, really nice. Cyan, Forest, Cadet Gray. Well, that looks really cool. Uh, orange, Sage, Violet, uh, Yellow. Banner's Deception. Whoa, that looks sick. Look at that. Uh, Blue Ash. That looks really, really cool. I like it. Uh, Foggy Rust. Looks nice. Yo, I really like... Oh, wait a second. Oh, never mind. I thought maybe they would be different, but never mind. Okay. As you can see right here. So for this one, for Foggy Rust, the other shoulder pad is actually different. Haraba Sirocco, the same. Uh, Limed Ash, okay, those are the same. The Peppermint Laughter, whoa, look how shiny that looks. Looks really cool. Stone Green, uh, Tempest Lilac, uh, Alabaster Cognac, that looks really sick. I like it. Arctic Void, okay, looks nice. Blue Rampage, looks good. Uh, the Blue Wood Bowl, okay, looks cool. Uh, the Cascade Clay, Okay, that one changes, as you can see. So it's white here, but it's like light blue on the other shoulder pad. Looks nice. Uh, the Cosmic Corruption. Okay. The Crimson Vettel. Okay. Uh, the Dogfight Makovich. Good, nice. Electric Bubblegum. That looks cool. I like it. Uh, the Faded Blush. You know what? These shoulder pads go so well with so many of the coatings. Seriously. I think it looks so sick. Ghost Gray. Looks good. HCS Winter. Looks cool. I like it. I like it. Lava Burst. Whoa, it's like bronze now. Look at that. Looks really nice. Uh, Midnight Griffin. Okay. Neon Superfly. Okay. Noble Portal. Alright. Obelisk Stone. Okay. The OPI. Looks good. Red Shift. Whoa, that looks cool. I like this. I actually like this. This looks nice. Uh, the Scorpion Horvath. Right there. The Scorpion Punch. That looks cool. I like it. That looks nice. Uh, the Shadow Sorrel. The Tahuna Sands. I like that one. Well, that's a really cool uh, color for it. That's nice. The Wet Crow. That looks sick. Yeah, that looks really nice. The Wild Covan. Okay. The Zeta Sky. So that's interesting. So instead of it being light blue, it's black. Which I think it still looks really cool. I like it. Looks nice. Whoa, bleached bone. Look at that. That looks sick. That looks really cool. I really like this one. The blood shadow. Okay. The estate gold. That looks nice. I like it. The foxwood seal. Okay. The platinum anniversary. That looks really good. What the hell? That looks really sick. Uh, Vermilion fire. All right. The big sir. Okay. The cloven sea foam. Uh, the Hexen Slate, the Milspec Stack, the Old Voodoo, that looks good, I like it, the Rafa Wood, okay, the Sand Drift Gully, the Scarlet Wake, that looks good, I like this one, uh, the Sizzling Coral, whoa, that's sick, I can't wait to unlock this, this looks so nice, uh, the Worcester Smoke, okay, the Complimentary Poppy, I like it. I think red goes really well with this, uh, with the uh, the shoulder pads. 
uh, because of the way the uh, gold and like the way the shoulder pads change with red coatings. I think it looks nice. Uh, the Flash Fjord looks good. I like it. The Grassroots. This looks clean. Holy. I can't wait until this comes out. Holy. Or maybe it did come out. I don't remember. I'm not too sure. Uh, the Gunsmoke Gold. That looks really good. I like it. The Malmac Shore. I like this one. This one looks really cool. You look like a Royal Guard or something like that. That looks cool. I want that to come back, actually. It's a Season 1 coating. Uh, Splinter Desert. Uh, Sunset Contesta. Okay. Uh, Vampire Mirage. This has not been out yet. I'm pretty sure this hasn't been out. And it looks really cool. The Midnight Frost. Okay. I like it. It looks good. And the Timeless Gravel. So this has not come out either yet. So you know what? Looks looks good. So let's take a look at the helmet with the Heroic Intervention Visor. So here's the Trailblazer. Okay. The Cavalino. The Aviator. Okay. Looks good. The Brawler. I like that. Uh, the Soldier. That looks cool. I like it. The Volant. Nice. Anubis. Looks good. Uh, the Selox. Nice. Uh, the Rampart. Okay, the Stormfall. The Zvezda. Looks good. Firefall. Looks clean. I like it. The Mark V Zeta. Looks good. The Mark 7. Okay, the Warmaster. Nice. The Enigma. The ISR. And the Line Breaker. So I think for this video, I'm going to go with the Soldier. I think the soldier looks nice. I like it. Even though the visor's not visible, but I just think it looks uh, good. Anyways, let's take uh, take a closer look at the shoulder pads right here. Looks really, really clean. Looks nice. It looks really, really nice. Um, and this is how the other shoulder pads look with this uh, coating. It doesn't change too much. I just have like a little bit of the uh, goldish yellow on there. Um, but still, it looks... It looks nice. All right, so these are the gloves, the crystal gloves, as you can see them right here. And uh, this is how the gloves change with the coating. Nothing too crazy. The gloves just kind of stay purple. Also, this is the Provespa gloves, which I will review in a later video, which these ones look really nice. I like it. And the Tigress and the Velvet glove. So, yeah, basically, none of them really change that much. They just kind of stay purple. All right, so then this is the emblem that we get called the Pioneer Group Zeta. And now let's take a look at the different... Uh, colors that it has. So here I have the Jackal Den, the Prime Aid, and the Saturational. Looks good. I think we're going to go with the Prime Aid. Let's go with that one. I think that one looks, uh, it fits the best because of the purple. All right. And then also, once again, we get the uh, nameplate. So as you can see right here. So let's take a look at how the nameplate changes. So the Jackal Den, the Prime Aid, and the Saturational. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the Edge Dance, the default one. I think that one looks really nice. It looks good. And then we have these stands called the Steppin Razor, which also looks cool. And we'll obviously take a closer look at it in game. So anyways, guys, that is the armor. Let's go hop into a match and see what it looks like. All right. So let's see what it looks like. Should look good. I think the shoulder pads are the coolest thing about this. Uh, we'll see. I think we're going to be at the end. Yeah, we are. We are always at the end in these reviews, which I think is really cool. But look at that. Look at those shoulder pads. That looks so sick. Looks really, really cool. Okay, let's melee. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Look at this. You can see, like, the uh, design and stuff. Looks awesome. It's a 2v2. Wait, it's a 3v2. Revive me, revive me. Come on, guys. Okay, he's reviving me. Come on. Round one. We won. Okay, nice. Enemy team facing elimination. Round two. No, he survived. That's annoying. Can't believe he survived. He's dead. Whoa. How did I stick him? What the hell? 
That was so weird. We won. There we go. So let's take a look at the stance at the end of the match. Okay, well, we can't even see it. So on the side. But you know what? I don't really care about the stance. I care about the shoulder pads. All right, everyone. So that is the end of the review. Once again, I highly recommend getting these shoulder pads. If you've never bought anything in this game before, this should be your first purchase. Like, seriously, these are so, so cool. And uh, they go with a lot of the coatings that we looked at. And they go a lot. They, they go with everything. Like, seriously, I think these look really, really nice. Um, and I highly recommend it. It's only a thousand. Uh, you know, it's not too expensive. And I like that. You know, it's not it's not crazy uh, expensive. And it comes with, you know, gloves and an emblem and all that. But no one really cares about the emblem. Really, you're paying a thousand for the, uh, the shoulder pads. I think that's the, uh, the coolest part about it. But anyways, guys. That is going to be it for the video. So once again, I highly, highly recommend getting it. It's really, really good. Honestly, this is, these are my favorite shoulder pads. Way better than this Vezda, in my opinion. I like it a lot. But anyways, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.